welcome or welcome back to our channel. I am Vesa and today I am going to be sharing with you my way of thinking before designing all my pieces in my first collection that recently launched and I am so excited to be filming this video because I've been thinking of it for so long and I really want to give you the background of every hat so let's get right into it. Okay, so the first hat that I designed for this collection was this one and I called it the sun hat. I remember that I had so much of this orange yarn at home. I still have a lot of skeins and I had some yellow and some white and honestly I had other colors too but not in a way that I could combine them to make something and I really had this gingham vision in my mind and I really wanted to make it come to life but with the other colors I could not do that so I chose the yellow and orange and honestly it is so pretty I love this hat and it will always remind me of summer which is my favorite season so yes I am thriving this season um yeah I, I love this hat so much the second hat that I designed for this collection was this red gingham hat that I called the picnic hat the reason I called it that I think is very obvious because every time well not maybe every time but very often when we see picnic pics on Pinterest or we do picnics ourselves there's always this a red gingham blanket that they put underneath their stuff and it's just so aesthetic and honestly when I think of spring and summer I think a lot of picnics and I wanted to include that in my collection it was one of my first ideas that I thought of and I brought to life so this is definitely a favorite from this collection and it is really pretty in my opinion when I made that rank red gingham hat my sister and I were obsessed with it and I decided to do more colors on the gingham pattern because the first hat, the sun hat, was very pretty but when I made the gingham pattern in red and pink, it was everything to me. Honestly, it turned out so pretty and I just wanted to make it in other colors so I decided to make it in blue too. Oh my god. And the inspiration behind this is this tablecloth that we have in our house and we always use it um, but it reminds me most of the breakfasts with my family members and it is just something that when I see it I think of home I think of breakfast and that's why I called it the breakfast hat breakfast time is so wholesome in our family like we're all there together and we eat everything that we want sometimes well a lot of times my mom makes us something and it's just so nice to think of so this will also always be a personal favorite i love the combination of colors i love the pattern everything is just so beautiful about it after i finished the blue hat i decided i was kind of done with the gingham pattern as for then because i wanted to switch to other patterns because i did not know if i have enough time or not to make more colors of the same pattern and then other patterns and stuff so i was kind of short on time because i put a deadline on myself and then i had to kind of rush to finish the other designs that i had in mind so i went ahead and made the daisy hat which is now a bestseller of our collection this is so pretty when i saw this green on the yarn shop i just knew i had to get it i got like two skeins i had no idea what i would make with it but i knew that i would make something because it's really pretty and i made this hat and it turned out so pretty the combination of these colors is so beautiful honestly this might be my number one favorite but i'm not sure because this collection is so beautiful to me and I absolutely love it. It has sunflower, sunflowers, no, daisies all over it and it's so pretty and it looks so good on but I'm not gonna try it on because I have my hair clips right here and I don't want to do anything to them. So yeah, this was the fourth hat. After the green daisy hat that I made, by the way that is called the daisy bucket hat, uh, I decided to 
do something similar but with strawberries so the inspiration behind this hat was the life cycle of a strawberry i saw it on twitter and it is so pretty in the beginning it looks like a daisy and then it turns into a strawberry i'll insert the pic here so you can see and i decided to do daisies plus strawberries together and they look so perfect and this is the second bestseller from this collection so people have been loving it too look at this combination of colors and daisies and strawberries it looks so pretty and i have another design in mind like this that i will probably make because i want to extend this collection because people seem to be loving it so much and i want to keep creating stuff like this during the whole summer and i have a beautiful idea in mind that kind of looks like this but not really and i'll make it and i'll see if you guys like it so this was called the strawberry hat the last hat that i made for this collection was this one oh, it's so pretty it was inspired by a photo that i saw on on twitter it was a hairstyle of a woman in a buzz cut and i'll insert it here i'll also give credits to the woman the hairstylist that made it so i saw this particular color of yarn in the yarn shop and i was obsessed i know i said it for the green but it also happened with this one and I was obsessed with it and I really, really wanted to make something with it, but I didn't know. I thought of crop top and different stuff, but I wanted to be, I wanted it to be special. And honestly, making just a one colored crop top just didn't sound special to me. So I went ahead and made a white hat with these colors because the picture on Twitter also had similar colors to this. I think it had a red instead of this color, but I thought that this color would make it look so pretty on a hat and I went ahead, made it, and honestly, it's a favorite as well. So yeah, this is very pretty. I don't know why, but in the pictures on Instagram, the hats don't look as pretty as when I look at them in real life and i think that here in the camera they look prettier than in the pictures that i post on instagram it's so pretty all right so these are all the hats that i had for today thank you for watching thank you for supporting me and if you want to support me in other ways you can buy from my last collection or from just any product that i have on my instagram shop and you can also follow my Instagram, my TikTok, and like this video and subscribe to our channel. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!